Hi, this is Mike Falco's Flips. Today we are going down to St. Anne's, which is down the coast, right at the bottom of the far coast. And hopefully we will find something there to resell for a profit on eBay. Um, the prices are higher down there, but, you know, we're going to get there early for the, around the time that they open. So let's see what we can do in an hour, hour and a half's worth of time. Let's go. <laughs> So yeah, absolutely zero today, nothing at all. What can I say? I'm obviously not gonna have made this into like a full blown video, but I am gonna mention this because it has to be said. Now it's not very often I go out and find nothing. In fact, it's very rare that I go out and find nothing. It's quite often I'll go out and not find that much. Um, and yeah what can i say not the best trip ever but it was nice to come down here claire got that coat sea salt brand coat which i think 
she says she reckons it usually retails for about 60 she got it for 20 quid really good condition so uh, she's got that which is good and we've just nipped to keto kitchen which is just in front of me down this little bit if you're in this neck of the woods down st anne's Livingham, ray green and all that it's worth coming here and getting some cakes because uh they're really good oh yes what have we got brownies, brownies and millionaire shortbread oh i had a bit of that millionaire shortbread sample very nice always support your small businesses in your area 11 pounds which you know is quite a lot i'm not gonna lie but keto ingredients are very expensive we know that because we have been on keto for ages right so that's it but maybe maybe we'll have a little bit of time to hit a couple down near where we live so if we find anything good there i will put that in the video okay so i'm trying to salvage this by hitting a few closer to home so fingers crossed for me i mean we only spent about an hour and a half actually looking around there so we've not spent that long really but uh you know we will do another half an hour to an hour now closer to home see if we can find anything let's go So finally we find something, we've got this Lego, I didn't get it on film, it was the first one I saw as soon as I went in, so I hadn't put the camera on yet, but 8 quid uh, for this, it's full of Lego, there's nothing too special here I don't think, but just the head itself will probably sell for at least a tenner, um, and then I'm going to pick out some of the minifigures in here and make a couple of lots I think, and then probably keep the rest, so a little profit, keep the rest and these are to keep all the cuddly toys in in my storeroom at the moment they're all piled up in several different bags and stuff i'm hoping to get most of them in here which will just make things a lot easier so they were two quid each you can usually buy them from you know pound shops for like three or four quid but i was here they had them so i bought them right on to the next Look at that, okay. Is it a bit too? Three pounds fifty. Right, so we're back now, and there's not a whole lot to show you here, but I'll show you what we have got, and I'll show you a couple of things from a couple of days ago that I picked up at the charity shop. And also I'll show you a good few pickups from a few days back, including a nice selection of Hornsey. So I'll show you that in a second as well. But first, let's have a look at what we have here. Uh, we'll start with the best thing. Uh, these Sorel boots, brand new with tags still in the box and yeah really good condition well new condition because they are new unworn and yeah 20 pounds which is uh, you know paying up a little bit but they do go for good money i'll put on the screen how much they go for i uh, found a pair of new ones that went for what 110 i think I found a pair of new ones similar to these uh, pre-owned they go for a, maybe like 60 i saw a pair go so 
you know, these are obviously new, but the box is a little bit kind of worn, but I think we can sell them as new. And we should get, I don't know, at least 80. So 20 into 80, minus fees and everything. Uh, here's the bread bin, which is, it's all right. There's nothing special about this one. I actually nearly bought this the other day, but it was really busy in the shop. Didn't want to wait in the queue. I was in a rush. So I left it. It was still there today, so I thought I'd pick it up. £3.50. It's a no-brand one, but it's a nice, heavy ceramic. I uh, would have preferred if it wasn't green. Might sit for a while, this one. If it was a more neutral kind of colour, it would have been better. Um, these marks here won't affect it too much. And some of this might come off as well. Uh, it's in... Yeah, pretty much perfect condition. 350. Probably aim for about 30, maybe even a little bit more on that. Should get that pretty easily. I've got a couple of storage tubs here. These are going to go upstairs. Going to take them up in a minute and put all the plush toys in. Hopefully this will be enough. There's two here. Hopefully it will, or we'll get most of them in here at least. And then we got this Lego, eight quid for the lot, and. Yeah, these heads, I've not sold one for a while, but I think these go for at least 10 plus postage. Or well, they did last time I picked them up. Might, maybe even a little bit more. It's one of the big ones. Uh, but it is full of Lego. Yeah, it's completely full. I've not had a good look through, but I did see a few minifigures. A couple of Star Wars ones as well. A few, like, vehicles. Uh, there's bits that are not Lego, not Lego branded, so we'll have to go through pick out the actual Lego and you know maybe we'll get a rare piece you know things like this this is like an unusual part unusual piece it's proper Lego um, that's what you're kind of looking for really if you're gonna pick up Lego the more unusual parts can sometimes be worth some if they're from like a particularly good set we have a couple of things are uh, this mug face mug I've never seen this particular brand before out there I have heard of them though it's uh, Muggins, 1977, and some of these can go for pretty good money. I've seen a couple go for 20, 25. There might be some that go for more than that. This was two quid, and this particular one, probably 15, maybe 20. So yeah, not too bad. It's in perfect condition. And then we have this as well. This is a Tomy, it's like a big, is it Big Big Loader? Thomas and Friends Big Loader. So I have no idea if it's all in here, but it doesn't really matter. It was only a pound, so we're going to do okay. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that if it's not complete, I can just sell it for parts. Plus, I've got another set in the shed where I don't have these balls. So I'm hoping there's a load of balls in here, and I can split them between this set and the other set. So here are the boxes that I've just bought. I'm gonna stick these cuddly toys in here. Oh no, I've lost Tinky Winky. Yeah, so it's still not perfect, but it's better. It's not all going to just tumble down now. It's all in there, there, and here, and well, two large ones here. Right, let's go over to a few days ago where we picked up some Hauntsy and a few other bits from the charity shop. I didn't bring the GoPro with me, but I got a few decent bits. When I got back, I did a little bit of filming to show you guys what I picked up. Let's go over to that. So right now it's Wednesday, it's my extra day off a week that I've got and I just thought I'd show you a few things. I actually found these yesterday, I had yesterday off this week as well and uh, I'll just give you a quick look. We've got this, check out this bit of vintage awesomeness. I don't know, 80s? What even is it? Not sure, it's like too kind of deep to be like a dip tray or anything like that I just I'm not really too sure what this is supposed to be for but it's made in Italy and it's definitely 80s maybe even 70s really good condition it was only three pounds 30 also got this this is a cheese serving plate it's 
similar to something I had before Christmas, like a camembert bacon dish. It's the same kind of style as that, and that sold really quick. So this was three pounds, really good condition, and it was made in France, right there. Revel, don't really know that brand to be honest, but uh, that's what it is. And I can only find one similar one out there, and they were asking thirty pounds plus postage. I don't think it's probably going to be worth quite that much. I'm thinking more twenty to twenty-five, and you know, plus postage on top. So all said and done, twenty pound profit, something like that. That's what I'll be aiming for. And here we have some books. Most of these are the Morganville Vampire books. And I wasn't sure if it was a full set or not. My phone just wasn't having it. Couldn't get connected to look it up. I think there are 15 books in this set. I've only got 13, but it's a, a 1 to 13 run. So I think it's okay. People are managing to sell like 1 to 10, 1 to 12, 1 to 14, that kind of thing. You know, incomplete sets. Obviously, you're not going to get quite as much. If there was only one book missing, I might have just bought that book and added it and sold it, but there's three books missing. So yeah, not worth me doing that. Yeah, I got them and I also got some other similar books, different author. I thought I'd make a little bit of a bundle on them. They were all 50p each. I also got a like Playmobil school bus kind of thrown in. But by far the best pickup has to be what's in here. Here's a little sneak peek right here. It's possibly the best condition horn seat item I've ever purchased. I don't think I've ever had them looking so like new. Uh, for example, this is like from an old one. This is a spare I had, put it in the shed. I thought I would use it at some point in the future. So this is typically what it, they usually look like. You see how the brown is quite faded. Now you do get difference in colour anyway from what you know from one batch to the next but this is kind of i can tell this is definitely a bit faded whereas this i don't think this has ever been used i'm going to get it all out you can have a good look at it just give me a second so there we go that is everything so we've not got like two complete sets going on here we've, we've not but we are still going to do okay. I paid £25 for the lot. And there's a couple of little areas of damage that, to be honest, I didn't see when I was in the shop. Uh, but it's not going to make too much difference. There's a tiny little chip at the bottom of that teapot there. I don't know if you can see it. But there's that. And there's a tiny chip here. Which I think that one is was done during manufacturing. Um, I'm pretty sure that one was not. But, as I say, general condition, the best I've ever seen, um, you know, bar the damage. I just mean, like, basically, I don't think they've ever been used, um, or very lightly used. So we've kind of got, like, I guess one full set of either tea or coffee, depending on which way I do it. Um, so it'll be, like, six plates, six saucers, six cups, a tea or a coffee pot a sugar bowl with a lid and a milk jug so that'll be a full set and then I'll have five cups tea or coffee pot one sugar bowl with no lid and no milk jug and a set of sauces and then I will sell the butter dish separate and the jar at the back there separate and yeah we should do okay 25 quid I reckon I can make the 25 quid back with, well, certainly with this and this together. Maybe even from just that. I'm not sure. Just the condition of it is so good, so I might be able to ask a little bit more than I would usually do. Don't find much hornsy like this anymore. Just doesn't really happen. I do find bits. You know I find bits because I'll show you, but not like sets like this. They don't turn up that often, and when they do, they're usually like ridiculously priced. So I'd be, I'd hope to make at least a hundred pounds off this. You know, all said and done, after fees and everything else, at least a hundred pounds. I'll be happy with that. So today we're heading to Cleveland to see what we can find there. Not been for quite a few weeks now. Hopefully we can do a little bit better than we did in St Anne's a few days ago. 
which you've either just seen or will have been a previous video. So that's it, I'm gonna accept defeat today and go home, see what we've got. But we've got some decent bits, those set of tables I think should be quite good. And if you have a little bit, it's nothing, nothing crazy. There are a few things today that could have been good. A few video games that are like completely scratched, that were no good. And a few other bits, but what can you do? So it's a little bit later on now and back home. So let's have a look at the stuff we picked up today. So here we go, this is everything. So you know, not a huge amount of pickups, but we've done all right, I think. So we'll start over here, this is a brand new seal jigsaw, this was four pounds. Rembrandt puzzles, which I don't recognize, but I've had a quick look and I think it might now be the Jumbo brand, you know, the Jumbo brand of jigsaws. They've got some kind of affiliation with them, I'm not really sure, but I found this particular one out there, pre-owned, they weren't asking a lot, I can't find anybody selling it brand new, and as I've said before, with these jigsaws like this, these vintage jigsaws, because I reckon this is at least, 
like 20 years old at least I think just looking for a date I'm not seeing one but I'm pretty sure it's at least 20 years old and these old vintage jigsaws the value is when they're sealed like this so it's a four pounds it's very hard to say how much I usually with a jigsaw like this of this kind of era and not a you know fantastic brand I will probably start around 30 to 40 on it and if I don't get anybody interested in it I will drop it down next is this cookie jar it's a kind of basic one really uh, two pounds fifty it's used condition but pretty good there was another one there exactly the same but it had all crazy over the front so I left that one and uh, that's the brand right there Lena home which um, Oh, it's sold through House of Fraser. So, oh, there's a price tag there. I didn't even see that. £24 originally. Queen Bee Biscuit Jar. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Then 2 50 I don't know, 15 quid, maybe 20 at a push. I'll probably try 20 plus postage and we will see. Uh, next is this. This is a heart shaped plate. It's the Flora brand, which is quite popular. Not sure how much these go for these days, but they used to go for decent money in pairs. With it just being a one, I'm not sure if that will hurt the value a bit, but when it's only a pound, worthwhile. I'll put on screen the kind of money that they go for. I don't find it too often anymore. I actually have two myself, which is why I even know about them. Next is these, these are called Pasty Peeps. And they're from Cornwall. Not sure, I've never seen these before, but yeah, don't know. <laughs> I don't know on these. They're 50p each, but she did them uh, three for a pound. And yeah, I can't find them on eBay. Nobody's sold them, nobody's trying to sell them. I found a website out there selling them brand new for 10 pounds each. So I will probably go like 15 quid, maybe, maybe 20. And up here we have this. This is the only thing I bought on my second go around the charity shops, just this, one pound. The brand is Mason Cash. That is it. Not worth a lot at all. 10 quid, maybe. Uh, this here is a, a Stone Crusher monster truck. The orange cage here, the orange part seems to be slightly rarer than the regular, but still not much money in it. Maybe a tenner if I'm lucky, plus postage on that. Only pay 50p. And next to these mugs, these are kind of lava glaze style. Not the best I've ever seen. Three pounds for the four, perfect condition. They're a little bit, you see how they're a little bit different to each other. I mean, they've obviously all been made at the same time, but they're just, I'm guessing handmade and they're a little bit different to each other. So that might hurt the value a little bit, but I don't know. Got to be worth a fiver each, right? Plus postage, 20 quid, thereabouts, I reckon. And next we have Blippi right here. He was £1.50. Anybody know of Blippi? My kids absolutely love Blippi. My, well, my youngest does. My, my eldest used to as well. But he's like a YouTube phenomenon. He's done a load of toys and stuff now. Including these dolls, which we actually have one upstairs. I did go for a little phase of selling these retail arbitrage. They were selling quite well to abroad, but not well enough to keep it going, really. I was making about eight or nine pounds a go, but they cost they cost 18 pounds each to buy. Pre-owned, they go for about 10 to 12 pounds plus postage. Uh, this here, I don't know of this, but my partner Claire saw it, and she does. She's She remembers these, although this is a remake. This is like a 2017 version of an old toy. And let's see if it says what it's called. Puppy Surprise. So I feel like I recognize that name, Puppy Surprise, but I don't recognize like the logo or anything. Now inside here, you've got these little, these little ones. And there's three of them, which I think is the amount that it came with originally. And it was £1.50. And these seem to sell, you know, these new versions like this seem to sell for about £15 plus postage. So... You know, all said and done, £10 profit. I know all this stuff I'm showing you is all small profits today. But that is, well, maybe not that. I might get a little bit for that. 
but that is just how it is sometimes these small profits keep things ticking over keep things going and this right here is a pin dish at least i think that's what it is it's horn c thought it might have been an ashtray but no i think it's a pin dish or there's another name for it i can't think what it is now uh, not a great deal of money in this one pound fifty and it will only resell for about 10 maybe 12 pounds plus postage my partner picked this up i can't actually remember how much this was and she's not here at the moment to ask the price tag's not on it now i don't think it was a lot is it three three pounds maybe maybe five not sure and i'm not sure either how much this is going to go for but when you're picking these things up for so cheap you know it's got to be worth it hasn't it and then the best thing today is these nest of tables i can't really show them off to you like this but i'll put some photographs on the screen of it uh you know in all its glory and uh difficult one to price these i'm not sure i mean i've picked up quite a few nesta tables in in my time and some of them do better than others i there was something about this style i don't think it's particularly old maybe 80s i think it's maybe 80s made to look 60s 70s but i'm no expert really not sure i just like them good condition they were only seven pounds and I reckon, after a quick look on eBay, I reckon maybe 100 plus postage. A few people asking more, 125, 150 for this kind of thing. But perhaps there's a bit of a, you know, maybe their particular brands. This brand, I don't know. There's no markings. There's no stickers on them or anything. So I really don't know who makes these. Maybe if I have a bit more of a research into it. If I can find out who it is, I'll put it on the screen now. But I reckon I can comfortably go for 100 and get thereabouts, you know, 80 to 100. No problem at all. They won't be too bad to ship because they'll ship like this. I'll just put bubble wrap in between and card. Make sure they're properly separated. As you can see, you know, we've got a little bit of room here in between each one. So actually, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, the tables are basically the saving grace right here. If it wasn't for them, then really wouldn't be too good. But, you know, I'm fairly happy with what we've got here. And I'll put on the screen right now how much money we should make on this stuff. So all week this week, I've not really picked up a lot at all. Uh, that goes for the lunch times that I go out when I'm working my regular 9 to 5 job. And Wednesday when we went to St. Anne's, barely found anything there. So, yeah, it is the way it is sometimes. It is a little bit disheartening sometimes, but I've been doing this for long enough to know you just got to get back out there because, you know, whenever there's a lull like this, event, you, know, you just keep going, keep going, you will find this stuff. You know, it can be annoying and sometimes you just think, I've been there for like, last 10 times I've been to that shop and found nothing you, so you do question you know is it worth it is it worth me going again and I think the answer is pretty much always yes there's only one charity shop that I can think of that I regularly go near to um, and don't go in and that is Oxfam um, nothing against Oxfam but the particular one near me is just it's just not very good and it's like 90% clothing so I don't really do much clothing so that's it thank you for watching hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next one